Dearly beloved, we have come together to witness and bless the joining together of Lucas Lorenzo Spencer and Tracy Angelica Quartermain in holy matrimony. The union of husband and wife, of heart, mind, and body, is intended for their mutual joy. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purpose anything. for which it was instituted. Into this union, Lucas Lorenzo and Tracy Angelica now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or forever hold your peace. What are they down? You're fired. God. Anyone else? Okay, I think we're good. Tracy Angelica, will you have this man to be your husband? to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health for richer or poorer? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Spanky. No, uh, I, I'm just making sure he didn't say obey. He didn't, he didn't, okay. All of that, yes, I will, I will. Lucas Lorenzo, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Are there rings? With this ring, I'd be wed. With this ring, I'd be wed. And now that Lucas Lorenzo and Tracy Angelica have given themselves to each other by solemn vow, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, by the power vested in me... Hold I on. I really need to see that prenup again. What brought this on? You've seen the prenup. I want to see it again. I object. Me too. So do I. You can't object. Get it. I don't think I will. Fine. I'm leaving. Tracy, Tracy, you can't walk out. Watch me. No, no. Oh, please. This is ridiculous. You love my dad. I'm not going to let you ruin this at the last possible moment. Tracy, for God's sake, I don't, I don't believe this. All of his praise of the adventurous life, his greatest adventure, has been with you. I don't think you realize how lucky you are to have found each other. Wow, that's a really lovely speech. You know what it tells me? That I'm right to be suspicious. Get your hand out of his pocket Whoa. right now. Come here. You are acting absolutely ridiculous. I think I'm speaking for everybody when I say I want you to get back up there, get this done, because I would like to have a damn drink already. And who asked you? Who asked me? You know what? Nobody had to. I am your granddaughter, and I get a say here. Do you know what my say is? Step aside. God, get out of your way, Tracy. You love Luke. You're too afraid to let yourself be happy. I get that. But nothing in life comes with a guarantee. It just doesn't. Paper or no paper, at the end of the day, you're going to have to stand up there and take a chance. So go. Take your chance. Hey. Take it. Sure. She's sure. Get on with it. Well, then, by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
Thank you. It was a beautiful ceremony. One of the most memorable in any case. <laughs> it suited us. We'd like to express our gratitude. Oh, that's not necessary. It's a donation. Well, my congregation thanks you. And may you have a blessed journey together. Oh, and in case you are harboring any doubts, I assure you I am a bona fide minister. <laughs> it's true. I had him thoroughly vetted. <laughs> hey, well done, mate. Yeah, you guys took us on a bumpy ride. Um, excuse me, can I talk to you for just a second? Well, you gonna yell at me or what? I haven't decided yet. Explain yourself. Okay. Well, I guess we're a little more similar than I thought. And I might have been feeling some sort of empathy. Look, I wanted to save you from yourself, hoping that maybe one day somebody would do that for me. I underestimated you. Good save. Ah, uh, thank you for riding shotgun, helping keep me on the track. You did good, Dan. Don't blow it. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm glad you were here, Nick. Enjoy the party. Thank you. Did you see? No. Well, the deed is done. Good job, both of you. Well, if I didn't know better, I think you might have meant that. You don't know me as well as you think you do, dear. I know that this hasn't been easy for you, and I've been a large part of that. But for some reason, this, uh, <laughs> this scoundrel makes you happy. And that makes me happy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> May I have everyone's attention, please? I would uh, like to toast the happy couple, so if you can all grab a glass. I'll keep it short and sweet. <laughs> to Luke and Tracy, and a lifetime of making each other the happiest, miserable people <laughs> in the world. I'd like to start out by uh, making a confession. Um, I'm completely stunned to be standing here tonight. My dad and Tracy figured out every way to get it wrong, and I honestly thought that they would never figure out how to get it right. But there's a reason that they did, and I think the only thing you can call it is love. I, I've never seen a more unlikely couple, but I've also never seen two people fight so hard in their own baffling and unique ways to be together. You made it. Good on you. <laughs> Do as much happiness as you can possibly stand before you start making each other crazy again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cheers. 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 Now it's my turn. Um, well, when you first came into our family, do you remember what I called you? Oh, yes. Step monster. Yes. <laughs> yes. There were three syllables that expressed my feelings exactly. But as I slowly got to know you, I realized how deep you are and how special and remarkable you are and how lucky I am the day that you stomped into my life. And I'm very happy that you married my dad. And I'm honored to call you my stepmother. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> ladies and gents, ladies and gents, if I may, uh, I just want to say that this is a remarkable woman, my wife. <laughs> my wife, wow, that, that sounds better than I, th I thought it was going to. Oh, my wife. <laughs> My real legal wife. Ha. You know, um, I don't know how you did it, but you have made yourself a center of my world. And before you came plowing into it, my world was a place that was pretty dull. I pretty much lost interest in it. And uh, I don't find that anymore. I'm kind of interested again. Wow. Kind of happy, actually. 
So before we begin round two, I just want to say I love you. And I'm afraid I always will. I, um, I think I'm supposed to say something here, <clears throat> but I'm kind of at a loss for words, so let me just say simply that, um, I've never been happier in my life, and I want to thank all of you for witnessing this truly rare moment. Can we eat cake now? Yes! Yeah. yes. Cake. Eat that 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 cake. Eat well, considering the two people involved, it was actually perfect. You're quite happy for your dad, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Hasn't been easy for him. Dad deserves a little joy in his life. And it's, it's inspiring to know that you can lose your first love, and think you'll never recover, and then find love again with someone new. Now, since you uh, have become a member of the Quartermain family twice, uh, I think you and I ought to get to know each other better. What's up? I have great plans for you, young man. Hey, Dodge, how about getting your old man something liquid that burns and doesn't bubble? With pleasure. If you're hatching ideas about grooming him as a surrogate because you've already alienated all your own heirs, forget about it. <laughs> 